but here's my better question for you, Mr. Spiffy Gentleman Guy. Yes? Why is your hair pink? Don't worry about it. I do actually uh, have a real answer for that, though. Okay, oh, what? Well, if I recall, there was a wonderful print store near a statue. I figured I could pick up some to home, something to take home with me. Anyway, yeah, the question I that is. I was too busy with my daughter. Now I wish I could have made more time. Perhaps it's too late, time. but I'm making up for time for my daughter now. Whoa, but you look at that crowd. Eh? Yeah, so I kind of have a real quick answer for that, and more or less, it has to do with my answer. Basically, comes from a comic book from uh, U.S. Agent. U.S. Agent? Mm. Okay. Uh, would you look at the line? I was hoping to just pop over and buy one. Yes, I'd better give up on the other places I wanted to go. Mm. Listen to me, complain. I should be grateful for you breaking me this far. I feel bad. It doesn't sound like it gets many days off. I'll stand in line for you. While I'm doing that, you can go wherever you want. Oh, really? You do that for me? I didn't pose, but thank you. Okay. Have fun. He really must love his daughter. I wonder if he was planning to have a scrape in her memory of her. Oh, yeah. Oh, she sure is. I almost forgot. I had a question for you. Well, it's a bit of a deep one, but what do you place the most faith in? Destiny, miracles, or foresight? Huh? Okay, Not this came out of nowhere. Huh? Destiny, miracles, foresight. What's he talking about? Yeah, I wouldn't go with uh, foresight. That guy, that foresight guy, is a huge dick. Destiny, miracles, foresight. He's got something on it. If you watch Promare, then uh, you know. Hard to say which one's most important. And um, spoiler alert: you know how much of an asshole that foresight guy is. <laughs> he just didn't have the foresight to see him. Blah blah. Whatever. Yeah, you didn't have the foresight to see, um, spoiler alert, him what? getting his ass kicked by, uh, um, Gallo 2.0 and Danger Twink. You want a voice, sir? Um, uh, okay, sure. Hey, um, uh, how about we kill a little time while we're waiting? Sure, just standing here doing nothing is boring. Mind if I ask you a question? Would you? If you had to pick between one of the three following choices, what would you choose? More questions? Something deep Which down one? again? Where is he coming from? I don't know. Uh, love. I don't really know much about love, but it sounds good. You're right. I have to act on this. Oh, hey, nice. Looks like I just moved up in line. Oh, yeah. Let me guess, one of these people are just going to turn around and ask more deep philosophical questions, aren't they? Yeah, that would be funny. Or maybe the guy at the stand. Like, is this some sort of act? Like, where? These just came out of nowhere for some reason. Like, like, what are they gonna do now? Ask Cat about. Like, anyway, how is your six life? I finally made it to the front, but where's that older guy? Whoa. Which one would you like? Pick anything that catches your fancy from the menu. Uh, look look uh, at all the choices. Which one do I get? Uh, give me a chocolate. Man, where are you? Oh, chocolate it is. Here you go. Thanks! Hmm, hope I made the right decision. Oh shoot, I should have asked the guy where he was going. But I can't just wait here forever. I better look for him. I think he'll like chocolate, even though he looks more like a strawberry kind of guy, considering. Fire some go up these stairs. That or cotton candy, if they even make cotton candy flavored crepes. Considering that Cat was having a hard time choosing just now, there's, there's probably one. Yeah, I mean, uh, American fl I mean, cotton here, candy I flavored, uh, cotton candy flavored crepes. That sounds like a super American okay. type of thing to do. Assassin Gear goes, nah, you don't wanna. Assassin's kid here. Yo, you seen a professor looking dude? Oh, alright, oh, I see. Thanks nope. anyway. Oh yeah, so basically chemicals is what caused his hair to turn pink. Chemicals? Being, being around like radiation, chemicals, science bullshit. Sounds like Breaking Bad to me, except mm, the cancer. Really? Yeah, if, if making meth would actually turn your hair color, that would be pretty... Wait, what was that? I don't know, somebody trying to call me. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm not gonna include that shit in the audio. Oh, a man with a suit and glasses. Was he a little, uh, flamboyant? 
flamboyant? Well, yeah, I guess he was. Sure. Ah, then I saw him over there. Oh, okay. Oh, oh that's a sign. Okay. okay. Oh, thanks, Vama. Meow. <laughs> Alright. Oh, oh yeah, and yeah. also that stuff about the Velma show, or whatever's coming up. Yeah, I don't really but care about it. Yeah, but go on. Either. Yeah, I was oh, gonna no. say, I don't really care that much for it either, so um, yeah, you can continue on with what you say. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much it. The literal only thing was, hey, we might make a Vel uh, Velma show where- oh, what? Oh, that was fast. Oh, whatever, okay, I'll check it out. We might make a- is this a- okay, okay, I was gonna say, was this a fucking church? Yeah, it's this room with the giant Ferris wheel. Like, this is like, is that like oh. an indoor carnival yeah, or something? Glasses. That's a. Oh, hey, this guy you voiced. Okay. <clears throat> ah, a man in a suit wearing glasses. Did he seem quite intelligent? Intelligent? Sure, I guess so. Wait, I was just wondering if this is the same voice I did for no, him. No, no, you gave him like just a pretty normal voice. Like, I think you just gave him your voice. Okay. Oh, that sounds like my boss, then. See, He's a genius with countless inventions to his name. Oh. That's why some people even call him Hexaville's Brain. Yeah. You better believe he's a real standout man. Right. The future he's trying to bring about is... Uh, I think we must be talking about different people. Sorry to bother you. Next time we should mention A. Hopefully he'll give me a race next time. Hey, isn't that the girl with the line? Okay. Hey, uh, hey! Girl. All right, oh, you wait, I, I was all right. Hey, you heard a girl from the crepe line. That's me. Was the answer before all right? Yeah. Thanks to you, I made my decision. I accepted my friend's confession and decided to study together. Wait. Doesn't that cover all three of the choices she gave me? Love you, By the way, have you seen a 50-year-old or so man wearing glasses in a suit? Oh. Nope. Sorry. Would you? But you have noticed all the police around. Yotto. Yeah, I wonder if there was an incident or something. Really? Maybe there's someone famous regarding. <laughs> someone famous? That'd be cool. It does seem like there's a lot of police officers around. Yeah, you know what? There was a lot of police officers. Yeah, yeah, I didn't, didn't notice that. That's, uh, I noticed a lot more blue around here. This blue, specifically. Oh, he's not even gonna tell me shit. Okay, well, whatever. What about you? Oh, you already left your boyfriend? That was pretty fast. What? Oh, okay. Yeah, that um, didn't take long. I guess she's going to study with him. How about this? I'm missing something here. Wait. Other maybe side. He's on the other side, maybe? Yeah, probably. Ah! Where? Where? Oh. There he is. I was gonna say, like, if. Like, that one guy in the bed kinda looked like Scruffy Turtles to me if I. I or maybe it was just me, I don't know. <laughs> that would be funny in Gravity Rush 3 if there was an NPC that resembled Scruffy Turtles. That'd okay. be fun. Anyway. I've been looking for you. Uh, I've been looking all over for you. Oh, oh, oh. So my apologies. My daughter and I used to come here and watch the boats. I must have gotten a little lost in my memories. Uh, let time slip. Evil. Might be dangerous to do that kind of thing around here. Never know if a thief or a pickpocket might take advantage of you. If let time. Thank you for your concern. You really are a kind young woman. Oh, yeah. Now, I'm she dying to hear your answer about the question about what you believe in. Uh. All right, you asked me back at the crepe shop. What do you believe in? Nah, shit. This is the actual choice. I guess, does this actually have ramifications to the plot? Nope. Um, just oh. uh, If I had to pick, I guess I'd go with Destiny. Mm. Destiny, I see. By nature, all things are, that will are meant to be. See? And oh. destiny is a human take Tui. on the natural progression of things. Lulavi? Really? You oh, think so? Wasn't picking, wasn't thinking all of that when I picked it up. Oh. Speaking of destiny, I heard a rumor. <laughs> there might be someone famous around trying to lay low. Maybe it's destiny to meet him. Oh. Funny. 
Wonder how a rumor like that got started. Well, there are a lot more police around than usual. Police? Uh, that's a problem. Why would that be a problem? Oh, I haven't oh. paid my tax returns. That too, but it's just I've always had such an aversion to the police. And I was hoping to visit another place. Would you mind taking me to Arquibus Academy? My daughter was looking forward to going there. Did his honor move on before enrolling in school? No problem. I take you I'll take you wherever you need to go. It's off to Aquarius Academy. Or whatever however I'm butchering that name. No, I think you said it right. Probably. Uh, Already? Uh, I can, oh. Yeah. Oh shit. We need to get going. Let's get the uh, fuck great. out of here. Another stealth yeah. mission. If we keep to the building, we should make it unnoticed. Keep to the building. Whoa! Now. Oh. But yeah, what exactly is this building aside from a, like having the Ferris wheel in it? Is it like an indoor carnival or something? It'd be really hilarious if it was a church carnival. Because <laughs> uh, like, if you don't oh. look up... Uh, if you don't look up... It looks like a church. Oh yeah, it kind of does. Although there already is a cathedral in Aud Noir. Oh yeah, there it is. And... Ah, oh, that reminds me. What were you doing in industry? I used to live over in Aud Noir. Yep. I think we're safe, right? My whole place was a mess. I even had bugs in my bed. Chop it off, they kicked me out because I was unregistered. Hey, when I get to the top of the bell tower. I guess. Wanted to know there was more dialogue, though. That's why I usually just screw around to see if there's more dialogue. Oh. I was hoping to someday see my daughter here. Ibu. I'll bet you would have been proud. Willie. Uh. But I mustn't give up. I still have the power to make her happy. Huh? Wait, his daughter still alive? Uh, forgive me for intruding, but your daughter See. suffers from a horrible disease. She's incapable of movement. Uh. Oh. Luffy. Seeing you able to move around so freely makes me wish the same for my little girl. Puleola. I'm sorry. Annoy. Ah, don't be. There's nothing for you to be sorry about. Oh, yeah. Sir, so, sure. mind if I ask you another question? What do you consider the most important thing in life? Justice, hmm. faith, per or purpose. I mean... Justice! Oh. I'm starting to get used to this guy's sudden philosophizing. Um, uh, you see? Justice, I think. Mm. Justice, I see. The ability to discern right from wrong. The moral from the immoral. Sick. Yet mm -hmm. one era's moral is another's immoral. What should we? How can any of us rely on our own sense of justice? Uh, uh, uh well, I guess we don't have much choice but to believe in ourselves. <laughs> I like that answer. One last uh, request from an old man. Could you take me to the Ferris wheel? That's the one place I could always take my daughter and get her to smile. See? The Ferris wheel? Sure, let's go. Oh, but I should mention, we need to avoid any police or government types. Oh, well, why? Oh, oh I I'm no criminal. It's just things could get complicated. Well, he doesn't seem like a bad guy. Like I said, I haven't paid my tax returns. Hey, me neither. <laughs> All right, say no more. Let's get going. <laughs> it lit. Uh, thank you so much for everything, my gravity shifting little lady. I mean, technically that would be true. She's been gone for years. Right, and I don't think cats ever had to pay taxes before. I think the Ferris will over that way. Uh, the road won't work. Yeah, obviously, there are police everywhere. It'd be inconvenient to get spotted. Though at the same time. Getting spotted by that boat would also be inconvenient. If 
only there was a safe way across. Gee, if only there was. Get to the Ferris wheel undetected, huh? I think I could think of a way. Hmm, maybe we can use these tracks. That's exactly what I was thinking. We can make it a crossbow. Good spot. thinking. Trying to land on it, but whatever. This works too. Yep. Ah, we barely made it. Barely? That was easy. Head to the perfect place. Not sure how perfect this place is. It's just where we had having to end up. And it couldn't be any better. For up those stairs is the Ferris wheel. Oh, oh. oh really? Guess it is the perfect place then. Hey, those are the stairs. Skate up then. You, you want to slide up? There we go. It's only more satisfying when there are gems available to collect. <laughs> Follow me, set me free, <laughs> trust me, and we will escape from the loneliness. <laughs> I shit a cop! Oh shit! Fuck! God oh, damn it! I slid right out them! They found us! <laughs> Who could have foreseen this coming? I surely did not. She you should have chosen foresight earlier. I think we both know that's not the uh, that's not the true answer for me. Well, if I mean, was, if you I chose it, that. I mean, if you chose it, that, then that we, you would probably actually known that cop would be there. If I chose that, it would probably have been ironic, considering all the dead bodies and times it got caught. <laughs> oh, oh, right. All right. those bodies, never to be seen again, like drops of rain. A bit. Uh oh. Okay, there. Dude. Wait. Ooh, hey, who is that, she? Not who is she? Not that either. I keep. That's not. Okay, there we go. It's been a while. Every time, it's always been a while. Just on the lookout for cops. Although I do like her outfit. We made it. To the sinister Ferris wheel. <laughs> I remember me and my daughter going around and around on this wheel. She was little, but she always got her way. After she got sick, the smiles and the laughter faded from her face. I already lost my wife, my parents. She was the last family I had. Now I get why he seemed so sad, even when he was always smiling. Oh, could I ask you one last question? Oh yeah. What she time sure. is the most important to you? Dinner time. Nah. <laughs> oh. To see. If I had to pick, I'd go with the present. Oh, the present, eh? Hey? Interesting choice. Well, you need a present to become the past or before the future can exist, right? Mm. You seem to be an ardent believer in the correct progression of time. Oh, wow. Well, when you put it that way, <sighs> I have to admit, it, time hasn't been that kind to of me. <laughs> <laughs> The sentiment, I, that's the sentiment I share. Oh, Dr. Brown, there you are! Okay. There you are! Please, it's time to go, sir. Oh. Looks like my luck and my free time just ran out. You say, said you? Little Miss, thank you for taking me around today. I enjoyed every minute. I was hoping it would never end. Oh, see. Si. Yeah, it was fun. This guy sure seems important. Who is he? Uh... Adi... <clears throat> Adika, a moment. Adi oh, I forgot he had a name, actually. Ha! Ah, of course! Right away, sir. Huh? Oh, do Guess I finally hit rock bottom. Attention! Your citizen registration has been processed! Huh? How'd that happen? <gasps> when did this get here? It's a smash invitation! Cat for smash! Uh, oh wait, no, Kazuya's already in, but hey, there's only one slot available! Please, Cat! I'm begging you! Please get in! Dearest Gravity Queen, thank you for showing an old man some compassion. Take this bed as a token of my appreciation. May it bring you rest. An old man with an old boat. <laughs> 
One good turn deserves another. The gentleman's act of kindness helped me leave all the frustration I had been feeling left behind. Ah, it's so nice to have a clean bed. La du faisons? Here's the police. Uh, and everybody right, home? Oh, wait. Oh, I, uh, I don't have the voice, please. Yeah, me neither. Oh, 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 oh hey, it's Chaz. Yeah. You know what? He voiced him there. Yeah, okay. Uh, Chaz? Is that you? D. Chaz? Uh, welcome back. Ah, uh, welcome back, Miss Cat. <laughs> I knew it. I barely recognize you in that fancy suit. Uh, when I came by, I noticed a strange entry in the in the Gear Go Patrol logs. I couldn't be sure, but I was hoping it was you. Was you? Where's Sid? You were both carried off by the same gravity storm. Yato. Right. Well, I'm the only one that made it back. Oh, is she? Sid, all right. I think so, but he's in a far-off place called Jigger Parallel. He's there with Raven and a few people I met there. Sorry, I'm the only one that found my way back. Annoy. Uh, don't be sorry. It's just good to have you back here, Miss Cat. It's just like Sid to get himself in some crazy adventure like that. But I'm sure with Sid's luck, he'll be just fine. Sid! Yeah, you're right. I'm sure he's okay. What? Hexaville must have changed quite a bit since you've got since you were gone. Oh, you think? Especially with the new defense system the city implemented. Not to mention the police department staff upheaval. Lieutenant Chas here. Uh, I see. All right. I'll be right back. Lieutenant, is Chas's promotion part of that upheaval? Sorry, but I got to get back to the police station. The old station was in New Hilarion, but, well, after what happened, we moved to the clock tower in Venda Center. If you need anything, give me a shout. Oh, right, bye. thanks. See ya. Adieu, cat. Later, nice ride. Huh. Cat's house. Cat can now use her house in the pipes. Collect furniture that you can de that you can use to decorate Cat's house by completing different missions and treasure hunts. You can also replay various pre no, previous missions from Cat's house, as well as warp to manholes on the map. Mysterious warp manholes. I think we already know that as if you played the first game. So let's see it. Yeah. Okay. Sweet. I'm registered. Yeah. Hmm. Venice Center. Ah, I should check it out. Taking the doctor around plagiarizing, we talk about his time spent with his daughter, when at the end, our home is back as a gift of thanks. Coming up, Gem Talk with Detective Kent. Until then, see you on the next one.